Who wants a second channel? You want a second channel, trust me. <laughs> few hours. Effectively, the M3 Touring got broken into, smash and grab. I was in an underground car park in London during the show of London Concord where we were having Koenigsegg. London there, and I went back to my car, smashed the back window, stole them my bags. Now, under normal circumstances, that would be inconvenient. Bags that I had in my car for the following two weeks. Gumball, Miller Millia. So in those bags, my passport, my laptop, camera equipment, small inconvenient things like the HSBC chip that allows you to get into your bank account, clothes for like two weeks worth of traveling, all gone. Now laptops and stuff, whatever insurance. Passport, it doesn't need me to tell you how important a passport is. Now obviously in the like normal realms of life, passport is important. When you've got to cross, what I'm saying to you is, no gumball, no millimillia. That's effectively what I'm saying to you right now. We've just picked up the M3 because they swapped the glass, so they managed to get that fixed. But I've got my phone and the clothes on me. We've been so flat out trying to sort an emergency passport that I've done no shopping for anything. So I'm literally existing in what I have right now. I don't really know where to go from here other than home, if I'm honest. So. We're not gonna like call it a day. Gumball, we're gonna do day one because thankfully it's in our home country. We're gonna meet up with some friends now who always do a very good job of putting a smile on our faces, which is something that we desperately need right now. There was two pretty big edits on the laptop, which are gone. So we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna do that again. I think you have to adopt, in, in situations like this, you have to adopt a philosophical or positive mindset. We've got the M3 touring back, the glass is in. Uh, we're now gonna meet up with DDE, some other gumballers. We've got a very special trip up to Edinburgh and we're not gonna let this set us back. We're gonna make the best of it as we can. We're gonna take you along for gumball as you know it up until London. And uh, let's face it, we're gonna see all of the same cars. We're gonna meet up with great people and uh, yeah, take you on what it's like to join Gumball 3000 2023, which will be the third Gumball in one year, which has never happened before. So that'll be fun. We're now going to Lamborghini, see you there. I'm gonna see this. So for anyone who hasn't spent any time in London, we've got these things called width restriction zones, which is effectively to stop like heavy goods vehicles going down residential streets and things like that. You can add a ventador to that. And so <laughs> these guys had to like smush themselves right through. Here. I think it's just over six, it's a six foot or six foot one or something like that. I had to fold like the mirrors and even with the mirrors like folded, the pole like, still almost hit the mirrors. Point. All four <laughs> wheels in one pinch point. Yeah, all four, oh, you can look, all four corners are curved. <laughs> the fun part is once you make it through the first one, you have to get through a second one to get out. <laughs> There's one at each end. There's one on each end. <laughs> I've got friends giving me clothes here because this is what I've got left after everything was stolen. So, so I'm just, I'm asking for things from people. <laughs> I'm not doing anything illegal at all. And all our cars are stock. <laughs> how loud that car is. It's just, it's just been driven home how loud that car is. Um, if you can attach all of that, we'll assess it um, today and we'll have a look and if it's all okay and if it's approved, then we should be able to issue the new passport pretty quickly if it's all approved. I just got a, I just got a call from the passport office. I might be able to get it by Monday.
situation update, Yorkie. See the smile that's back on my face. Passport inbound. <laughs> so we just had a call from the passport office. It's all been a little bit mysterious and murky with zero communication for the last 48 hours. And then we were just driving along and we had this unknown caller, like sort of hidden ID number come on the screen. And I hit the button and it's this awesome guy from the passport office called Simon, who said, if you can send me police crime number, proof of travel and reason for travel, we will then look at that, determine the circumstances and get back to you shortly. So this is why we've just swapped driver and passenger. I've gone through documents, we've submitted it, and within a 15 minute window, Simon calls me back and goes, yeah, that's all been approved. Uh, you can pick your passport up on Monday morning. So this is awesome, which means we can now hit the road, uh, enjoy some of Gumball, and then finish the rest of it on the Millimilia. So stay tuned. It's about to get awesome again. So it's not it's not obviously done yet, but all of this area here will be a, a sort of a strip and fit base. Okay. So they're, they're having areas which are built like F1 bays. Car goes inside and, and it stays there as like a dedicated, allocated project. Car gets disassembled. All the panels go in the spray booths, yeah. spray them all, reassemble them. And we're going to treat every car like a race car program. So this guy is having a complete faded paint job from a darker blue to a lighter blue. Because ultimately what you're doing is you're bringing your pride and joy to us. Yep. And like, if you tear down at the basics, we, we deconstruct the car in order to do the job right. And Correct. it's quite invasive for something that is like so important to you. Correct. So we wanna sort of inst instill a mindset that we're treating these as if they're ours and we would want them done like this. In build bays, dedicated person on it so they're responsible for it. And then just make sure we do it right man so yeah so the Bugatti Veyron is designed to be the world's fastest car this is designed to be the world's most fuel efficient car it's the slipperiest yeah. car ever made yeah it's the slipperiest car ever made and it it also has an offset seating position didn't even get in here you know what I mean uh, what's crazy is for how narrow it is yeah it's actually got a really wide door sill it does well it's a full carbon tub it's even got center windows James yeah, do, do you drive this often no how did you get this? It was in wrong auction at the right time. Like, it's the wild card amongst all of our cars. I've always been fascinated by the engineering story of it, but also the, like, aesthetics of it. It's like a sort of art deco micro supercar, right? So when they launched, they were like 110 thousand and the auction it was it i mean look at it, every, everything everything oh i know this, this whole car is carbon fiber it's like a clear auction, it's all right. look how beautiful this is the auction was full of 80s group b rally cars and then this thing rolled on stage and everyone was like went heads down at the book straight away was like don't so care well, and we were like like literally no one and we were like what it didn't like meet reserve because everyone was there to buy rally cars yeah and for whatever reason this was on stage and no one cared so i was like okay we've been after one and it went through, but I think we ended up paying like 70 something for it. So much money. Like the Veyron, they probably lost money making this. Did you spec this car? Yeah. How rich are you? <laughs> getting there. <laughs> <laughs> this is exposed carbon. This is like what, a 1.5 million dollar car? Yeah, about that, yeah. So and these guys went through one of those width restriction zones in London. And Albert there was a guy Bridge. behind you that wouldn't allow you to reverse Oh, it was around. a complete traffic jam Ooh. even today yeah. we were in our uber yeah and he took albert bridge oh, yeah. and he just slowed down for the narrowing yes and it's the person behind the us was bah! Like, it's wrong it's in our video <laughs> Here? like what is wrong with people <laughs> Just remind me, where can I get these? Shopdde.com. There'll be a banner on the wall right here <laughs> by next week. Now, if you don't know, there's a little thing inside where you can tap that with your phone to get 
exclusive access to exclusive content through the blockchain so you know it's authentic. Is it? Is that real? Yes. <laughs> That's actually real. If you bought the merch, you have the merch. No. I thought it was Dave. Okay. I thought it was Dave being What's Dave. What's in there? Do you have your phone? It's an Apple AirTag. Hey! So if you got a t-shirt or a hoodie, you just scan it. And then we can upload That's anything. Great. So on Gumball, every day we will do a special video with yeah. friends. Well, all I got to do is send it to my guys back in yeah. Orange County and they'll put yeah, it on there. It with the link and, and then when goes. they send it out, everyone will get a notification. Shopdd.com? Yeah. Yeah, and you ship worldwide, right? We do. Six hour drive to Edinburgh. So everyone's filling up with fresh gas. Basically, a Lamborghini dominated crew. We've got a, a Mercy with an SV kit on it over there. We've got the DD SVJ and we've got an SVJ over here and a little old McLaren Senna here leading the way with the touring support car. So everyone's juicing up and then um, we're going to hit the road, man. Go for it. Parked up for anyone who isn't familiar with the interior of a Senna, you open the doors in the roof like this. There's no conventional door handle, it is here and then it pops open. This thing in the sun, like when the sun is on the exposed green carbon in the garage, doesn't do it justice, but in the sunlight, so nice to see this thing in the sun. I'm saying that because most of the year over here it's not sunny, so, <laughs> so look at that. <laughs> If you've watched the channel during Gumball, since DD have been doing it, that SVJ is on such another audible stratosphere, it's in its own galaxy. It's, it's ridiculous sounding. I'd honestly go so far as to say, at least top three best sounding road cars I've ever heard. And it doesn't matter how many times you hear it on camera, on film, whatever it is, you actually feel it, particularly in Senna, because it's got really thin glass. You feel it come past you. Again, cliche statement, actual F1 sound. Super high pitched, like, it sounds like it's revving to 11. <laughs> You know it's serious when you can see the flames in the daylight. Like most of the, the time, so Senna shoots blue flames. You're gonna be driving it pretty hard. I've never once seen the blue flames in the daylight. Obviously, most of the time, sunshine's overpowering. You can see blue flames out of that pretty much all day long. So one of the things that uh, Dave identified earlier was the real reason for the lower door card windows here. Well, not for spotting apexes or enjoying more scenery. It's clearly a YouTuber's tracking car window because they it provides for the most unique angles of cars which I've seen in some time. Because when can you get up alongside a car and almost be tracking from the white lines on the road? So these were at Koenigsegg, London ye yesterday, and now they've been put on a transport, brought up here, and we're gonna uh, start Gumball 3000. Eggs in, for breakfast, in two eggs, eggs for lunch, eggs, eggs for dinner. Eggs all day for the next three days. And we're throwing the keys to Damon in the white one. First egg experience, Left or hand first Regera experience, Correct. sorry. Left hand drive, which works for me, and the non-$100,000 wheel option. <laughs> Man, that is fun. And if these are all lined up properly. Yeah. Oh, right, we're now going to the Gumball car park to get these cars stick it up, ready to cross the line on Sunday. Tomorrow is registration day. Officially be inducted into uh, Gumball 2023. You look mildly nervous. It's, it's 
really easy to just super easy, you'll be totally fine. So I, believe, I believe it's easy. It's the type of thing that I don't take lightly, that's all. Cool this stuff. is gonna be fun. Cool stuff, I'm like really like I appreciate how much trust is involved in letting anybody behind me. It's a real pleasure to have you in it, man. It's so it's really cool. And we're gonna be in convoy. We're gonna be in convoy. Sold. Okay. Ciao, Dave. hotel uh, to kind of say hello to some friends park up outside uh, kind of caused a little bit of a lockdown commotion so we're gonna vacate we're gonna go to the Gumball car park get all of the graphics applied to the car and uh, get them all set up and on brand so that we can park on the grid for registration day tomorrow Take time. What did you think? I honestly, genuinely, like, because it's a, it's kind of a niche driving experience, isn't it? It's genuinely when you describe it as a hyper GT car, goes without saying, the ultimate version of what that could ever be. It's so easy to drive, right? Which is cool. It's so smooth, and the delivery of the power uh, it doesn't hang around. Yeah, it's like, it's like, and then you let off, and it's like. <laughs> David's got some news. You need to have a second channel. It's simple. You use your phone. You don't overproduce it. All you do is you make these short little clips or long clips of what's happening when you're not filming for the main channel. He wants a second channel. You want a second channel, trust me. Because you get to see his life. He gets no personal like time whatsoever. You guys get all his time. Like the truth when is, people smash into the back of my M3 and steal all my stuff. 
That yeah. would have been a fun behind the scenes video. Like anything that's like going on where you're not, you're not the presenter. Sure. Even me right now, like I'm more just me. I'm not presenting. Like for my main channel, we're trying to on a level entertain. Mm -hmm. Where this is not, I'm not trying to it's entertain. Real. I, I'm like, hey, if you want to see more of what we're doing when we're not hyping everything up, watch this. Yeah. And we have a ton of people that are watching it. So I'm going to splice this into the, well, the video you're watching now. Yes. And comments below. I, w I would really like to see the comments. And if, if you're interested in a second channel, I'm going to do one anyway. And so what, <laughs> so what do you do is he, in it, he, collects, he collects basically footage on his phone. And then when you have enough content to basically just on like stitch iMovie, it stitch it together. Yeah. So you have about 30 minutes of raw random stuff. Of BTS. Your behind, yeah, BTS stuff. Yeah. You just throw it on the channel and send it. Send it.